the foam caddies I've been using. It's one of the one of the best wires I've ever used, so I thought I'd do a quick video. First of all, you need to make the body with some razor foam. The foam I'm using is funky foam sheet. It's from a craft shop, 65p. Let's see that. So first of all, you get your piece of razor foam, cut it, and I measured that. It's a three. The the razor foam is two mil thick, and I've cut it in a three to four mil strip. You want, and about two inches long, if that. So the first thing you do is you make a little slit at the back end. That's basically the form of the caddis at the back end. The thread I'm using is just a hen's standard green thread 0.04. So some people can make these in a needle, but I can do them by hand now, which is just as quick. So make your first segment on the back end, trim off. And then you're making four equal segments. That's so you do three to four wraps, pull in tight, and as you can see, it's starting to make the segments. And what I've worked out for the, I'm using four segments to a size 12, uh, 13 TM co or a 15 so this one is a TM co 103 BL uh, in a size 17 eight, sorry size 13 this is to show but I do them generally the best size around a 15 so you've got the side where you can see your thread so you want to place the good side down a couple of wraps tie it in and then what I do now I go around one of the segments there a couple of wraps then back and that's all that's actually catching the fly in an important bit here is to well, is to glue the thread just underneath, just underneath, just it. When I was doing them first, the foam was slipping round. If you put a tiny bit of super glue there, and the next phase, uh, you want a couple of strands of CDC, match the tips up, tie in. Keep them level with the back of the body. If it goes out f further past, it starts to look scruffy. Trim them off. Oh, now the glue should have took hold. Next part is a bit of a deer hair. Again, very, very buoyant, this fly. Good bunch of CD, uh, deer hair. I don't bother with a stacker. Just level them up in the end. The odd few that stick out make it a lot better. Place well, since they just off the back of the body. Three soft wraps, then pull in. As you can see, it's got it in there. Next part is to trim off the deer hair. I'm trying to go a bit quick so I don't spend too long, so it's a bit scruffy. So the next part is a brown pen, just a sharpie. And then underneath, 
on that bit there. I'll just tie in with a bit of brown because the the caddis has got a dark area there. The body, obviously, this green. You can do them in different colours, but this one's been really effective. And an orange pen, little tiny orange spot on the back, representing an egg sack, but it can also be a slight little trigger. So the next part, we're going to tie in one of the best materials in fly fishing. Most will agree is a bit of partridge. Why I do it, it's just for that extra buggy effect. There's something about partridge, as we all know from the jingler, how good it really is. So we time in the side these. Of wraps. I'll do the other side. So all you're doing is pulling some feathers. About four or five feathers off. Catch them on the sides. And a little trick here. Don't snip off the, the trim off there, the partridge, pull it back. what that gives you is when the flies done it's, when you tease them out you get some nice little legs so the next part very quick fly you could actually just snip that off there if you wanted to and you'd have a super light fly and and this you can adjust so it pops through the water uh, I like the visibility of doing what I'm copying the Roman Mosey balloon caddis now. So you come over, pull them a tiny little head, one wrap, four or five wraps. And as you can see, it's getting there. At first, I used to um, cut this wing off here, uh, and then I'd uh, put some of my glow powder on for extra brightness, but I found that they lie on the side, or sometimes they don't land quite right. So I've cut that off like the Roman Mosey, and there we have it. So basically, if I was to tie that off now, that would be the fly finished. I'll just pen in a bit more underneath, as you can see there. Hide any imperfections. You can also dot little segments on the body, which makes it look really cool. But to be fair, I've done well as it is. If you want to add some um, some um, glow glow powder, what I've done in the past, night stuff, a bit of bug bond or super glue and then usually on my glow powder I would just dip it in take the fly out dip it in but for now I'll just dust a bit on laser it up and then it'll be embedded with the fluorescent powder the fluorescent powder if you want it it's off eBay and the cut the owner of the business it's called Killer Biz. Um, I'll put the link in somewhere on the video. But as you can see now, that's dried up nice. And then when you're fishing at night, a couple of charge. I think you can see the the brightness, but it'll glow like anything for a couple of minutes. But no, this sedge, absolute balter for me. Um, even my mate with which with me and Steve Cullen, he's even said he likes it and that takes some beating. <laughs> Tie off. <laughs> 